Right now we're standing in one of NASA's data distribution centers. The Langley DAC provides information on atmospheric composition, satellite data, data from NASA airborne field studies uh, are stored here so that the scientists can access the data easily. Scientists from the world at large as well as the general public can all come to this site online and get data from uh, the satellite perspective as well as aircraft to understand atmospheric composition. We have a data server and uh, we have been serving the, the airborne uh, science community for over 20 years. And the course AQ data uh, currently is located on our data repository, which is web-based. So what we do is uh, we have a, a web-based tool which scan the file, incoming file, to, to ensure the file uh, complies with uh, the standard, I mean, the file format uh, standards. So, uh, the reason to do this is uh, so people, if people understand the, the standards, they will understand the data, so they don't have to go ask uh, the people who submitted the, the data. Course AQ has offered us an opportunity to look at the Korean atmosphere with more detail than ever possible from multiple perspectives, from the air and the ground where things are routinely monitored. And we've been able to see that the emissions that we believe are happening in the area are underestimated. More pollutants are being put into the atmosphere than we previously thought. This is allowing us to use our computer models to interpret what the outcomes of that pollution are. And we're getting a better handle on the sources that are playing a role in the outcomes for ozone and particulate matter. The level of detail that we provided with the Course AQ observations is going to provide an important test point as we go forward in terms of air quality improvements in Korea, as well as air quality improvements across Asia from China and other neighboring countries. And so as we go into the future to try to measure those improvements and also understand why they may or may not be working, uh, the Course AQ data will be an important resource for understanding that. So all the research, what data say? How do we explain the data? What do we learn from the data? Right, how to, to learn from data to improve our, our understanding and, uh, and our ability to predict, to predict the future. So that's kind of a bottom line, what, uh, what we do, right? To do this, we need to preserve the data, uh, preserve data in terms of the data integrity and also the, the access to, to public, right? Um, so people like a newer graduate student, younger graduate student can can get the data, understand the data, use the data. So that's how science uh, progresses.